Hi friends, welcome back. So this month we've been learning a lot about insects that we can find in our garden. And now we are going to be learning a little bit about seasons. How many seasons are in one year? There are four seasons. Do we know the names of those seasons? It's spring, summer, fall, and winter. Spring, it's starting to get nice and warm now. And then in summer, it gets nice and hot and we get to swim and do lots of fun water activities. Then it starts getting a little bit cooler and we head into fall. And then it starts getting really cold and we head into winter. Do we know how long each season lasts? Well, there's four seasons and there's 12 months in a year. So that means each season is roughly about three months. In the Northern Hemisphere, where we live, spring starts around about March 21st. In the Southern Hemisphere, they are now starting their fall. They also call fall autumn in some places. So here's a picture of the sun and the earth. And the earth rotates around the sun. And this is what makes our seasons. So when it is spring on the northern hemisphere, it is then autumn on the southern hemisphere. And so the earth turns around and the ch seasons change from spring to summer to autumn to winter. And then spring again, summer, winter, autumn. In spring, you'll start to notice that our days start, get, start getting a little bit longer and our nights slowly get a little bit shorter because we have more sun shining directly onto the earth. Spring is the season when some birds that have been away for the winter return again. This is called migration. Some whales migrate too. Some animals that have slept all winter wake up and look for food. Spring winds are good for flying kites. Who knows what kind of animals hibernate? A very popular animal that hibernates is the snake. So we don't, we don't see snakes around in the winter. But when it's spring now, they start waking up and looking for food to eat. summer comes. Summer we have our hottest days and the earth absorbs all the heat from the sun. This helps lots of plants to grow and many animals are very busy with their families in preparing for the winter. We read a story about the ants and how they prepared for the winter by collecting food in the summer. In the summer, people have fun outdoors. They can go to the beach, swim in the lake, and read under the shade of big trees. Who likes going to the beach and swimming? There's lots of great things we can do outdoors that we don't really get to do in winter especially swimming, it's a little bit cold then. During the summer, daylight is long. We see the sun high in the sky. It might still be daylight at bedtime. The nights are shorter. And then autumn begins about September. 
in the northern hemisphere. That's where we are. So if we start our autumn, then the people who live in the summer, southern hemisphere, they start their spring. Because they're the opposite to us. The leaves from some of the trees start to fall. You see beautiful colors falling. Red and orange and yellow. It's a very pretty time of the year. And then in the fall, some birds migrate to warmer climates and animals prepare for a long cold winter. That's what we we're talking about with our ants. And it's time for uh, autumn fall is the season that all the farmers start harvesting their crops. And you see a lot of country fairs happening. And this is all about the time of Halloween. And then we head into winter. In the Northern Hemisphere, winter starts about the December 21st. And in the Southern Hemisphere, they have summer starting. So like South Africa, where I come from, at Christmas time, it's the middle of our summer. It's really hot. But here, it's cold. And in the winter, we have shorter days and longer nights. We notice that it gets dark really, really early. Like before it's even dinner times for some of us, it's getting dark. Where in summer, sometime for some of us, it is still light when we go to bed. The coldest days that we have are in winter. And that's why a lot of birds will um, go to other places where it's warmer. And then we also have a lot of animals like the squirrels and the snakes. They sleep and hibernate and stay warm. Some places for their winter, they have snow. We don't have snow where we are, but not too far away from us, there's snow. Have any of you seen snow and built a snowman? I have, it is so much fun. But I don't think I would like to live in the snow. I don't like the cold. Summer is my favorite season. Which is your favorite season, friends? So I've got a really fun song that I'm going to send to mom and dad for you guys about the seasons that you can learn. And then when we see each other back at school again, we can sing it together. I really hope you enjoyed the lesson and learning about the seasons. Now I'll see you again soon, friends. Bye.